I'm here with Sean Atwood, author of Hard Time. Did they strip search you after you were arrested? Yes, I was led to a small cell, a strip search room by one guard. I had to get completely naked. He looked in my mouth, had to raise my tongue, looked in my ears, had to raise my arms so he could look in my armpits. He looked, he had to raise my man parts and he also told me to pull my foreskin back so he could look in there to see if there's anything. I thought he was joking, I didn't know there was any such thing as a foreskin search. And I said to him, are you joking? He said, no, you could have drugs stored in there so I had to pull my foreskin back. It's really embarrassing at first, but it's something you've got to get used to. Then you have to bend over, spread your buttocks and cough and the guard is looking right up your bum to see if you have anything like drugs, weapons or contraband stored in your anus. Is it private one-on-one -on -one or a group search? Mostly private one-on-one, -on -one, but there are group searches such as when you're in transportation, they're trying to move a lot of people at the same time. So they'll put dozens of you in a room, you'll have to get completely naked and the guards will go from person to person because you're all in, in lined up and you know, looking in your bum to see if you've got anything stored in your anus and doing the searches individually as fast as they can along these lines. How invasive is it? It's really invasive, especially the foreskin search. You kind of feel like you're being visually raped. It's not invasive as it used to be though. Arizona used to do what's called a finger wave, which means the guard puts rubber gloves on and he shoves his finger in your anus to see if there's any drugs or any contraband stored in there. That was ruled unconstitutional in the federal court system, so the state of Arizona had to stop its guards from doing that. In Japan, I had a friend whose brother was in a Japanese prison and she said the Japanese guards actually shove glass rods into the people's prisoners' anuses to see if they've got anything stored in there. Is it like in the UK where it is all by verbal instruction? It is exactly. You know, they tell you, open your mouth, raise your tongue, raise your arms, raise your penis and ball sack, pull your foreskin back, turn around, bend over, spread your buttocks and cough. It's all done by verbal command, exactly. Do they strip search you at other times, such as shakedowns, post visits, etc.? Constantly being strip searched. When there's shakedowns, the goon squad come running in. It's like SWAT team style in the full battle regalia. They slam everybody against walls, tell them to get naked, and the whole pod is naked by then, 45 people, and they're locking up your bum to see if you've got anything stored in there, and they herd you all out naked um, as well. It's, it's really embarrassing. Um, I had a job in the kitchen and I got a visit the same day, and I was strip searched going into the kitchen, coming out of the kitchen in case I stole anything, strip searched coming out of the visit. I got strip searched three times in one day. If you're getting moved to another prison, your strip search going out, your strip search coming in, it's, strip searching is constant. Do they strip search you on release too? They strip search you on release as well, yes. Um, when you're getting released, they put you in a cell, take all your prison clothes off you and give you whatever clothes you came back in. And if you're getting, I was deported so I was sent to a federal facility and I got strip searched at the federal facility as well before I got put on my flight back home. Well, thank you. You're welcome.